Ba -da -da. Yes, welcome Broadway.com to Life in the Lamp. I'm Michael James Scott and I am the genie in Disney's Aladdin and thanks for joining me on another episode of Life in the Lamp. I'm so happy that you've been joining me these last few weeks and there's lots more fun to come. This week it's, oh my gosh, there's, there's, there's a lot happening. So enjoy. Mwah. I am here at Watch What Happens Live. I don't even understand what's happening right now. I'm about to be the bartender on Watch What Happens Live, like right now, and I'm getting ready, and I'm here with Broadway's Esmeralda. We are dying. Broadway.com. I just got to do Watch What Happens Live. It was amazing. It was so much fun. Oh, oh they're getting ready for the next audience. <laughs> We're actually done now, but it was amazing. And I don't even know what to say. <gasps> just finished matinee today. And um, a very, very dear friend of mine, Tony winner, Broadway favorite, Nikki James came and brought her beautiful nephew, Moses. Look who came to see me. Look who's that! Uh -oh, who's that? Yeah, there he is! <laughs> Moses, did you have fun? Yeah. Yes! How cute are they? I mean, it's ridiculous. It's amazing. I just wanted to give you a little something. Say hello. I have gorgeous visitors here today. I am here today because you actually got us on a week that we said hello to a Broadway debut and then we are also saying goodbye to a Broadway now veteran of the Broadway. <laughs> Ainsley Melham, our Aladdin, is done today. All finished, going back down under. Broadway.com, Ainsley's leaving Broadway today. I'm sure he'll be back. Just he'll be today. back on Broadway at some point, surely. But he made his Broadway debut in Aladdin the Musical as Aladdin. Uh -huh. In Aladdin the Musical. How do you feel today? It's crazy. It's been a huge journey from Australia, you know, three years ago. Now I get to finish this uh, journey in Aladdin. I was lucky enough they took a chance on me and brought me here and I got to make my debut here at the New Am on Broadway. It's just an amazing way to finish. And I get to finish with you and I get to finish with Ariel. It's so full circle and, it, and my heart is full and grateful. Yeah. Well, Broadway will miss you and obviously I, I'm sure you will be back on Broadway. Don't you know it? Yes, you will. You will be back on Broadway. But I just wanted to give some Broadway.com audience you know, some love to you so that they knew what was happening. You were a fresh face on there. Yeah, but they all love you over there, and we all love you here. But it's for now, we'll say we'll see you later, Ainsley. Back down under. But you know, Broadway's here waiting for you, boo. Boom. We're coming, we're coming back. Yes! Hello there. Okay, so I thought it would be really fun to do uh, a fun little section um, with the original Broadway cast members of Aladdin who are still with us. So I wanted to sort of get their, you know, get their thoughts on everything. And so I, I've assembled them into my dressing room. Here they are! Yes! Here they are! We're gonna start down the rabbit hole. We'll start over here. This is Mike Cannon. What's up? Cannon, tell Broadway.com what you do. Uh, I swing the show and I'm also the dance cap. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Lauren Tardulo and I'm a swing and I understudy jazz. Who are you, darling? I'm Jonathan Freeman. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing Jafar. Oh, are you? Well, that's nice. And I'm still in my makeup because I can't. It's between shows. Did you tell them it's between shows? I, I did not say, but it, we're in between shows right now. And so. I just can't get out of it and get back into it. It's too quick and it's too much. And well, you look, you understand. You look lovely, so I'm heavily spackled. <laughs> Brian Gonzalez! Brian Gonzalez or Gonzalez, depending on the audition. <laughs> I play a bad cat. I love it. I'm Don Daryl Rivera and I still play Iago. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so I wanted to get them together because, you know, everyone's had their paths of being here from the beginning. So Jonathan, obviously, if you don't know, I will tell you, Jonathan was the original voice of Jafar in the 1992 animated uh, movie of Aladdin. Yes, yes. And then the next, I think the next would be our two over here, which is Brian and Don Daryl. And they were a part of 
so was Johnny, but they were part of the Seattle out of town before the Broadway, right? Right? Yes, 1972. <laughs> <laughs> and then we joined in um, when they joined for the broad when we came to the Broadway. The three of us actually joined the company. What's the most thing that you remember that maybe it might be like one of your favorite memories from the very beginning up until now? I'm sure there's many, but can you pinpoint something that you could tell the Broadway.com audience? Oh man. Canon? Oh man, I think probably the first time we did friend like me and the audience stood up on their feet instantly. That was crazy. I've never been in a show where uh, an audience stands up in the middle of a show. I remember going to James after, right, like, right, like, right after that show and, like, uh, went into the dressing room and we were chatting and he was like, I don't really know what just happened. <laughs> like, no one knew what just happened. It was the really, it was a really cool moment. That is a cool yeah, that was moment. Awesome. Lauren, for you? Um, I think my favorite memory is, um, all of us swings and standbys mm -hmm. being together and we had this cool little like club that we would ask each other questions and yeah. wait did you get that number or did you get that change or whatever and we would rehearse in the lobby of <laughs> the Toronto theater and we would be laughing so hard that people got jealous that we were having more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, what about for you? Oh, um, I mean, it's, I know. It's, what about for you? Oh, you're next. Oh, for me. Um, <laughs> probably, well, for me it was, it was, an, it was, it happened to be in Australia because it was, it was, um, it was the first time I got to see the production not this, not us, not from the original Broadway company and seeing literally in like, Rehearsal, seeing like people's names of the original company, who they were taking, like doing their their tracks, and seeing like, you know, oh, this is the Tia track. This is the, <laughs> like, and oh. and and seeing them do things that they were, you know, that were just that we created, um, and and that they were doing now. So I think that was a really cool experience. I've never seen the show ever. Really? Oh, no. Like, oh, we got I mean, I've seen little bits of... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I know your lines. I'm waiting. <laughs> uh, I remember seeing, you know, pieces in tech and seeing it in tech and pieces. And I remember that the first time that I was in the audience and I and the carpet, the, 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 the technology that we have now carpet, mm -hmm. like lifted off, I got very like excited and slightly teary-eyed. There was one point where we, we do a lot of shows for um, uh, children on the spectrum and sensory children and all this kind of stuff. And we did one and, and uh, we went out to meet some people and, and uh, there was a young girl there, a uh, child with autism, and she, you know, didn't, you know, really react much, didn't really speak. And she, her mom said she, Pointed at you and wanted it was about, which which I know means she wants a picture. So it was great. So I went to the picture, and I went stood next to her, and we took a picture, and she did this. Oh. And wouldn't let me go. Oh. And her mother said uh, she doesn't do that. So I thought oh. she must have really she likes you. And I thought oh, oh geez that's that was just something I don't know why, but I felt this connection with the with this person. I love that. That's, that's amazing. Don Darrell. Oh my gosh, there's I know, it's so a lot. It's much. A big, there's a lot. There's a lot. Um, I, I think I'm going to ride the wave with Brian uh, and include Freeman in this story. Um, there's a documentary that Mr. Freeman was a part of uh, called Life Animated uh, with Owen Susskind. And um, Owen came to the show, and uh, mm -hmm. I got to meet him afterwards, and like, Owen loves Iago, right? And we, <laughs> we had, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, and Iago off. Um, it didn't make it into the film. But, like, oh literally, we were, like, spouting lines at each other as Iago. Um, and, like, just with, like, a circle of friends around us. And we were all laughing and having a great time. And, like, that was, that was a lot of fun. And, <laughs> That's um, awesome. It's kind of cool because we've had... We've had weddings. We've had mm -hmm. babies like being birthed. <laughs> like it's like more on their way. More yes. on their way. Okay, so before we go, if one word, one word that describes this experience for you, one word, what would it be? Would you have one word? Um, uh, <laughs> sure. Um, dream. Uh, that was my uh, word. That's fine. We can have it. Life changing is that two words? Mm. Or is that like a Unless you have it. It's okay. Yeah. Life changing. Life changing. All right. So life changing. 
Dream. Well, I'll I'll be the sap. I'm gonna go with family. Mmm. Mm. Yes. Oh, family. Yeah. Oh, I'll say privilege. Mm. It's privilege to have all of it that we've had. Yes. Don Darrell. Thankful. Again. Yeah. Thankful. Yes. I love it. Well, I'm thankful for you all, and I'm sure the uh, Broadway.com audience is thankful for sharing your experience. It's very rare to be able to get to be in a company and come back to a company and still have the same gorgeous faces still here, giving it their all every night. So it's 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 really really cool, and I just wanted you to to see them and get a little chat with them uh, up close and personal. Oh boy, that is it. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Life in the Lamp. Tune in next week. There's lots of fun coming, so, you know, come on and join me. Thanks for joining. Much love. Life in the Lamp. Yeah!